Welcome back to The Broken Masterpiece. Today, I am thrilled to share with you the piece that went viral, a coffee table. Amidst all the intricate antiques and beautifully adorned buffets that I've worked on, it's fascinating that a coffee table garnered such attention. This humble coffee table that belonged to a client of mine captured hearts on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. It is still steadily climbing towards a million views here on Shorts and has over 3.2 million views on my Instagram. Reflecting on this, out of all the restoration that I've done, I think that its appeal lies in its familiarity. Many people had a similar coffee table in their homes while growing up or encountered one elsewhere. Familiar pieces evoke comfort, and transforming them into something more modern is a reflection of one's style and it brings a sense of hope. I believe that this particular piece, crafted from solid cherry wood, resonated with viewers because it showcased the potential for revitalizing common furniture items that can be found in your home. My aim in sharing this full tutorial is to empower you to embark on your own furniture refinishing journey, knowing that you can have the confidence to breathe new life into cherished pieces with really good bones. So let's get started. When I first got this coffee table, my client was a little bit undecided in what she wanted to do for the top, but she knew that she wanted it stained. She just didn't know how dark she wanted it stained. So I knew that I needed to first start with stripping the top and I'm using Green Easy's Strip and Clean Refinishing Kit. Now this kit is awesome. I know that it says $70 online, but you can use 10% off with my code to get another 10% off of the already sale price if there's still a sale going on. But this stuff is the best. By the time you purchase Clean Strip, which is very toxic and it will burn your skin, and the after wash that has to go with it, you're spending around the same. And this is biodegradable, non-toxic, won't burn your skin, and it is powerful and works. So this took off all of the layers of lacquer on the top of the finish. I put on a really generous amount and then I was able to scrape it off with a 10 inch brush. I'm using steel wool in grade one to scrape off the majority of the residue. After scraping off the majority of it and scraping it clean, you can use the refinishing cleanser to get off the rest. So I'm still using steel wool. Steel wool comes in these wrapped bundles. You don't just use it like a sponge. You have to continue unwrapping it and getting to a clean spot to make it continue to work, but it's fantastic. It doesn't take off, it doesn't rub too much into the wood, but it rubs enough so it's working like a sandpaper does. After working with the steel wool, then I switched to a green sponge. You can get these at Dollar Tree. They are just those like rough green sponges and they are abrasive enough to get off more residue and get deeper down so the sanding's gonna be a breeze. After this, I spray it again and then I wipe it with my shop cloths. This allows me to wipe off any more residue and it's just, yes, prep takes forever. Stripping is a messy job, but when you're using something that's biodegradable, you can just throw this all away in the trash and that's what I love about this product. From there, if you wanted to paint the base, you're gonna go through and clean it with a TSP or degreaser. This piece was pretty glossy, and so I'm using a TSP solution in a spray bottle, spraying it all around and cleaning it off. Next, I've got a little trick for you. So the client wanted just singular knobs that are gold that became a whole topic of conversation in these comments on these viral videos, but alas, we'll get to that. If you get these little wooden dowel sticks, you can get them at the craft store. Sometimes Dollar Tree has them too. Stick them in. It's going to be a lot better than filling these with wood putty that gets soft and sometimes cracks over time. Wood glue and then banging the dowels in. I should have used a mallet because it kind of created some marks, but wood putty to the rescue. Once it had dried, I could completely sand it smooth and make sure that everything was flat and ready for paint. Now, as much as many of these paints say no sanding required, always sand always buff sand. I'm using a surf prep sander. You can get 10% off of this down below with my code. I am now an affiliate of theirs. I do love this sander. It soaks up all the dust while you're sanding and it goes around curves like this without taking off too much and flattening like my other square sander that I love and I use on heavy duty pieces. But when I'm using it on fine details like this and going around curves, I need something that's not going to that's going to save my hand from having to do this manually, but also something that's go going to go around edges and not take too much off of one thing. So I'm using a medium grit on the surf prep. So I highly recommend this sander again, 10% off with my code TBM. So I'm showing you this little side table because I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end. It's actually going to be painted a light color. So we've got chocolate versus light. Now this is why we stripped the top and let it dry overnight. Look at how easy this is to sand you guys. 
This is a gorgeous cherry wood underneath and all I needed to do now was just sand that stain right off. All the stripping was done with that Green Easy stripper so it makes sanding just a breeze. Fusion Mineral Paint claims to have a primer built in, and so I'm using this without a primer on the surface. You can use Clear Boss by Dixie Bell if you want a clear primer, but I was trying to do it without just to see how it would go. Now I'm using a round brush, it's by Zebra. It is one of the best brushes. You must have at least one on hand for any projects that you're doing by hand. It goes around spindles, it goes around curves, it goes straight. It, it is the most versatile brush that I've ever used on furniture. And I wanted to try painting it on because I, this was my first time using Fusion Mineral Paint and I wanted to see how self-leveling it was compared to Dixie Belle, Bear's Chalk Paint, and some other chalk paints. After I hand painted the entire thing, it did not self-level. So this is not self-leveling paint. I don't know if they claim to be or not, but I would prefer a more sprayed look. And so I ended up using my surf prep with a 100 to 120 grit on it just to flatten this back down. And then I was able to do a spray coat. From experience, I know that spraying is a lot quicker and easier, but loading up the sprayer, taping off areas, making sure I have my mask on, it just, it does require some prep to it as well. And so as you can see, I'm trying to get in that little space as much as I can. I could only reach it from all four sides. But after I sanded everything down, I wiped it off with a tack cloth. Tack cloths are listed in my description below. They are sticky. I did not start using tack cloths until a few years into furniture painting. And let me tell you, it was the one piece of equipment that I was missing. They're very cheap, but they are wonderful and they get all the dust off, especially the dust that you cannot see. The sprayer I'm using is a home right sprayer. This is one of the most affordable sprayers. I wanted to see how well it would spray this. I did thin the Fusion Mineral Paint out. It's very thick, so I did thin it with distilled water just a little bit. I can do it by feel, but always use a viscosity drainer on your sprayer, whatever it comes with. After going back and forth, my client finally settled on Jacobian. Now, if you say that differently than I do, I apologize. People got all up in arms about how I say Jacobian. I don't know, Jacobean, Jacobean, who knows, but people got real upset about the way that I pronounced it. I apologize ahead of time. That's the only way I know how. So I got out my staining sponge. I said sanding sponge in my viral video. That also upset people. Staining sponge and you apply it. My last strokes go left to right with the wood grain and then my camera died right when I started wiping it off. So I'm going to show you the process of wiping off this uh, similar stain on a table. So this is the same solid wood and I'm going through with these blue shop cloths. They are wonderful and you're going to wipe everything off and then go back through with a clean one and just make sure that your surface is doesn't have any excess on it. The stain should soak into the surface. I finished up my surface by painting on some polyurethane. This is in warm satin. You can find it in the description. Now I put on way too much. I had to fully spread this around. It does self level, but you really don't want to put too much of it because it will pool in some areas, especially if your surface is not level. And so I took, I, I spent a good amount of time brushing this on and making sure it was smooth and then I use my butane torch to get out any of these bubbles in the areas that it was a little bit too thick and a butane torch works wonderful if you hold it on a place for too long though it is flammable make sure that you are wearing a mask make sure that you are wearing gloves and make sure that you just take every caution we don't need anybody catching fire I finished the bottom with a polycrylic and we added the new gold knobs that my client picked out. Now people got all up in arms about these, but that's fine. It's a client choice. Now I staged it on my driveway and I put it through this AI app called Photo Room and you can see that that was literally taken on my driveway and then you can put it through this app and it will give you a complete scene and a way that you can see it inside of a room. So this is Photo Room. I do pay for the pro version. This is how the white side table turned out. It was going in a different room of there, so they wanted it a different color. But that is the staged of that. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this furniture refinishing journey. I cannot wait to show you what's next.